I will just tell you this. Ten months ago, I got, I got that call from Sheila Fairjohn. It was a life-changing call. Saw the same webinar every one of you did. And people either get it or they don't. I got it. You guys got it. And we're finding um, hundreds and hundreds and literally thousands of people around North America that are getting it. And it's timing. Sometimes people are no now. Four, five, six, seven months later, yes. So... It doesn't really matter, but Rob had a profound impact on my life. The first two, three months here at EXP, he was just there for me in a big way, 3,000 miles away there, but hey, it was better than nothing. And he's finally here after 10 months, and so I promise you, when you leave here uh, at midnight tonight, I'm kidding, when you, le when you leave here at 4.30, you're going to go, that was the most amazing experience I've ever had. In real estate, I believe that. So here, help me welcome all the way from Dallas, Texas, Mr. Rob Flick. Appreciate it, buddy. Well, alrighty. Um, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm excited to be able to share this with you. And this is information specifically about the revenue share that we're going to be talking about. EXP's got so many different avenues for agents uh, that are available, and we can talk about each one of them for hours, no question. But what we want you to do is do this professionally correctly, efficiently, and profitably. Hope that makes sense to you. Um, what I'm sharing with you now is a, the opportunity for you to make a, a tremendous amount of income, residuals. That's what I was always interested in because as you know, or I was a cancer survivor, or am a cancer survivor. <laughs> I am, not was. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and uh, they said I wasn't going to make it. The doctors thought it would be only three to six months. So I'm really glad that they were wrong and I'm still here. And I always tell people I'm really, really glad about it. There's a couple of people, two or three, they're probably not real happy, but I'll get by with that. Um, so our goal is for you to learn this information, not that it's going to take over your real estate world. I don't expect you to spend more than five hours a week on what we're teaching you. Okay, but residuals have no bound. Residuals have no top end. There's only so much you can do in a day or a week or a month or a year with your time and your body says enough, I have to sleep and stop. But residuals, when you duplicate yourself, uh, not only just around your city, but your state and around the country and around the world, um, great wealth can be created. And that's what really we're talking about here. And this is just a training to be able to get you to understand how to do this correctly, not to irritate people. We want you to be welcome in the market. We want the people to be approached and, and spoken to professionally. Um, and this is something I put together because there were agents that were going about it wrong. They didn't know how to talk to other agents. They were climbing over the top of them. They, you know, they just, they, they would say the wrong thing and then people wouldn't want to listen or they irritate people or they did things that were, you know, not what I would say I would want to, you know, be uh, part of. They did things irritating people and you can do a lot of things like that and we want you to do things correctly and like I said, uh, very, very professionally. And that's, that's really what we're looking for. So one of the things that, as you know, EXP has four major disruptors, right, that are, that are causing all this. We're changing and we're impacting real estate, the industry, we're changing lives in a very big way and uh, we want to do it for a long term. We want this sustainable and we want it done very, very professional so that people talk really, really good about us. The first thing is, you know, we're cloud-based and that, that is the, what drives everything. Without the cloud and being having to have the, the execution of all our businesses and the training and education and networking and everything in the real estate world, without that cloud, we couldn't be doing what we're doing. And so it is because of that in the internet and the cloud that allows us to do everything. And most people don't understand what a cloud brokerage is. And it means that we can do every single thing in our cloud offices that you can do in a regular brick and mortar building, but we don't have that overhead of the brick and mortar, which saves us untold millions of dollars, probably tens of millions and eventually, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars as we spread around the United States and the world, which we will do. Um, and we are able to redistribute that. So when we talk about the money that can be made, I want you to know and understand, it's not like we're creating something new as far as more money. We are not um, having a, you know, a shell game type of thing. What we are doing is we are redistributing the money that has, you're already paying as agents to the brokerages that you're a part of. So all we're doing is eliminating, just so you know and understand that, because when people see this, they think it looks too good to be true. And if you just look at it like you've never seen it before, it does really look incredible and hard to even imagine. But the money that, we, that you've been paying to your brokerages in the past um, 
have been used to cover the brick and mortar overhead. And there's a lot of brick and mortar overhead in any kind of building that you've got, you know, and employees and things. And if you duplicate that by the hundreds of, of offices around the country, around the world, that gets to be huge amounts of money. And if we don't have that overhead, we can be able to um, redistribute that money back to the agents, which is what we want to do. And then if we don't have those owners in each one of the different offices, Right, that that will obviously want to make franchisees or something like that. They want to make a profit, obviously, rate of return for their investment and their time. If we eliminate that and all that money and we redistribute it back to the agents, that's a big deal. If we take away the regional people that are receiving royalties from from you know a significant number of companies, we remove that and we put all that money, which is millions and millions back into distributing back to the agents. We take away the national people that are receiving national override royalties and we put that money back in. And we take the people that started the franchises in the very beginning, the ones who own everything, we take that away and we distribute all that money back in to the agents who do it because we're owners and we're creating all that money. So when you see it is a huge amount of money that is just being redistributed from all these other different people back to the agents who are making it happen. And as agents, we love that. I don't know any agent that says, no, I don't want you to pay me all the money back. I want to just, you know what I mean? It's, it's really, really pretty incredible. So it allows us to be able to provide lead generation systems. And we're not going to talk about lead generation systems today. I've done that in the past and we will have training just on the lead generation systems as well. And this type of a thing as well. And that is huge that we provide. But we provide systems that cost ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year. We provide them free to the agents. Every single agent, because we don't have the brick and mortar, we can invest back into the agents in doing that. But we're not going to talk about that today. And then about the, we're a publicly traded company. We have six different ways for agents to acquire stock and what I call an agent asset development program, potentially an exit plan long term, or maybe even, you know, the, the possibility of retiring someday and just really having a lot of fun. Um, just travel in the world. I tell you, it's really great when you've got a residual. So I'm going to teach you, this last one is this unparalleled revenue share, how to do that correctly. And I've been living a residual income driven lifestyle for the last 20 years. I haven't had to work for money for a long period of time because of what I did building other, uh, another real estate company that had residuals. And, and I create, I'm still, they tell me, the 14th highest paid person in that company, in the history of that company, out of 170 some thousand agents, I'm still number 14. And I haven't been associated with them for about 14, 15 years. And, um, and we've been able to live all over the world, travel six to 10 months a year because of that. I came out of retirement when I saw this program, when I really understand it, when Gene Frederick showed this with me, it just changed everything. It's like, this is incredible. And he said, it's, it, this is gonna be mind boggling when you see this. It's not just another real estate company. And you've gotta understand, we're not just building another real estate company. We're putting together an entire new platform that is and will change the real estate industry dramatically not only in this country, but we believe around the world. And that's a very big thing. And in California right now, you guys are pretty much the beginner of everything here in California. You know, which is exciting when you're first to market in, a, in an idea that the world doesn't know is coming yet that is earth shaking and going to change things. You know, I've missed a lot of things. I was in Kirkland, Redmond, Washington in 1979. If some of you know what was there in 1979, was the epicenter of Microsoft when it first started. And I didn't get the memo. No one sent me the memo. <laughs> Said, you know, go invest in these people, these, these bearded college kids, and you'll never have to work again the rest of your life because they were going to change the world from that, from that location. And, and we heard it and saw it happening. All, it was all around me. It was incredible. And now people are doing it faster, you know, with Facebook and Google and all these things where you're seeing these internet 20-year-old somethings becoming not only multimillionaires but even billionaires. And that's because of the power of the internet and the power of duplication and the speed and and the efficiency of the internet. We could never do what we did without the internet. And, and uh, Glenn Sanford, who's the founder of this company, put together an awesome, incredible program to allow agents access to that type of a thing. So that's why you're going to see the kind of money that you're going to see. So we're just going to talk today about the revenue share program and how to put that together. So just a real quick overview in the revenue share is this is a way to reward agents who are referring other agents, quality producing agents to the company. And we're looking for good quality agents. We're looking for agents, and I always say this, we're looking for agents who are looking for us. I don't try and convince someone that they should do this and leave where they are. I just share the information with them and if they feel a calling and it's going to be like to them, then they come and they're happy. We're looking for happy people, right? I'm not looking for drama-related unhappy people. 
just so you know, right? I'm looking for people that are happy, that are successful. People say, you know, I love where I'm at. I think what I'm doing is awesome and incredible. And I say, that's fantastic. You're the one I want to talk to. Because I want to talk to people that are happy, love doing what they're doing, they just don't know what they don't know, and that's fine. And I tell people, sometimes I joke around a little bit, and I'm sort of politically uncorrect a lot of times, because I haven't had to work for a long time. So I'm, I'm uh, terminally unemployable, and I am uh, ambitiously lazy, which means I like to work for short periods of time if they'll pay me a ton for a long period of time. And uh, that's a good way to be, I think. You know, I just, I, so I'm always looking for a way to do things quicker, faster, um, more efficiently all the time to make it more fun. And I'm all about fun because I nearly died, you know. And so every day I wake up, it's like, yay, <laughs> I got another one. I'm so excited, you know, to be able to do that. So that's how I look at the world. And I'm an early riser, instant boom, which drives my wife nuts because she's not. She is the other way times 10. And uh, she needs her coffee, she needs to warm up, and oh, she calls me Tigger. Get it? No, 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 no. Get, get out. It's really interesting. So I'm wake up, I'm ready to go, and anyway, there you go. So um, revenue share. So we, we, we track the generations. When you refer somebody, if you're, if you're an EXP agent and you have me take a look at this, and I like it, I want to join, then you'll be my sponsor, if you will. Right, and then, and as a producing agent, as you know, everybody we have is on an 80-20 split until you pay 16,000. Right, then you don't have the split anymore for that year. So, as I close the transaction, I'm going to pay my 20% to the company, and until I've paid the 16,000, and you, as my sponsor, are going to get a piece of that 20%. And you're going to get paid that on the 22nd of the month following the month of closing. So if I close something in July, anytime on the 22nd of August, you're going to get the portion of your check. And by the time I've paid in the full 16, you would have received $2,800 of the 16,000 that I paid in from the company side, not from my side, right? And you get that every year that I do that. And if I don't quite sell as much and I, and I maybe pay a little less than 16, you still get a percentage, but you just get a little bit less. Do you understand? So it's based on the productivity of the agents that you bring aboard. Okay? And if I start referring people around the country, which I have, then uh, because I've been around a long time and I know a lot of real estate agents, and let's say I refer 10 of my friends and they like it and they, they, they check it out, they like it and they join, and they do two and a half to three million dollars or more. We call them cappers. They cap out. They pay their 16, right? I'm going to receive $2,800 of the 16000 each of my 10 buddies paid in, but you, because you enrolled me, you are indirectly responsible for those 10, even though you don't know them, right? And so you are going to get up to $3,200 of the 16000 that my buddies each paid in. Right, every year that they do that. And if they, if my buddies refer people, that's your third generation, you get 2,000, so on, so on. We track that seven generations, right? And if you add those numbers up, it comes to 16,000, which means we're actually willing and able to pay out the entire 16,000. And people say, well, how do you make money? How does the company make any money? How does it stay in business if you pay everything out, right? You'd, as an owner, you'd want to know that. Since we all own stock, we want to know that. Well, the way it happens is you qualify based on the um, right here where it says active personally recruited agents, right? And that is, it shows for every five agents that you personally enroll, it unlocks another level of revenue share. You got to just sort of understand that. You don't have to explain it, just understand the concept. Are you with me there? Okay. So for every five, you unlock another level. For 10, you unlock the third level, 15, and so on, right? You have to have 40 agents personally enrolled that are selling houses to unlock the seventh level. Okay, so my goal when I first saw this, I was new to Texas. I was only a few days into Texas, and I told Gene Frederick, who's the one that shared this with me, I said, I don't know anybody in Texas, but I still think I could enroll one agent a month, even if I just said, hi, my name's Rob. My wife and I, Jen, we're here new to Texas. Uh, I really like to talk to somebody about real estate. Can you refer me to someone who's got it really going on? And I don't want to talk to newbies. I want to talk to experienced, got it going on real estate agents. And guess what the people did? They referred them to me. And so I would give them a call. And I would say to them, and I always had attitude anyway, you know, because I'm looking for people with energy and the right attitude and that kind of stuff. So I'd call them and say, hey, Fred, this is Rob. Sally just referred me to you. My wife and I were new to the area. We really want to talk to somebody about real estate. And they tell me you're the one I should talk to. Can we get together and talk about it? And if they say, yeah, sure, love to. Appreciate that. And we set in a time and we go, right? Good attitude. But if I have someone that says, why? What do you want to talk about? Real estate. I, that's what I said. Aren't you a real estate person? Well, yeah, but exactly what do you want to talk to me about? I would say, 
Nothing with you. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Boom. And hang up. I didn't care. I didn't know them. I didn't want attitude. And that was drama waiting to happen. Do you understand that? Yeah. And I don't want drama. And I don't want to attract drama. Is that? Am I getting through? Yeah. Okay. So I was very... I didn't know. I didn't need everybody. I was just looking for people that were looking for us. I didn't want to have to convince anybody. I wanted to make it fun and easy. Right? That was my whole deal. And so I figured I could enroll one a month for a year. I'd probably lose, that'd be 12. I'd lose two or three due to attrition. Right? Normal people leave. That means I'd net maybe nine. If I did that each year for three years, which is the vesting period for the stock, that would give me 27 agents personally enrolled. And I figured it'd take me three years without upsetting our lifestyle much. Right? One agent a month, not any big deal. And if I got 27, that's more than 25, but less than 40 on that chart. So that means I would have unlocked the first six levels of revenue share, but not the seventh. Right? And I figured, in three years, I believe I can turn those 27 agents into 500 agents. Because agents know agents who know agents, as evidenced by the people here in this room. Right? And um, because 20 years ago, when I referred 30 agents to Keller, when I started in 1997, I referred 30 agents to Keller, I turned that into thousands and thousands and thousands of agents. And so I knew 500 was going to be a, you know, not that big of a deal. That's how I thought in my head, right? Because I've done it way bigger. This would be a easy. Plus, I thought the, po the platform is incredible. And it pays so much more and got so more aspects to it. Very, very powerful. And I figured... Even if the agents only sold a million dollars a year, a million dollars a year in sales, which in this market is what, three houses, four houses, right? In Kansas, it's like 20 houses. I mean, it just every place is different, right? Depending on where you are, you know? And, um, and that's nothing against where Kansas is. It's just that some places the prices are higher than others, right? But a million dollars. And if you have a an agent that you've enrolled that closes a million dollars in real estate, you're going to make on average about $1,000 per agent per year in revenue share with our system. $1,000. So if I had 500 total and they were in my first six levels and I had 27 agents personally enrolled so I'm unlocking those levels, I could expect to make $500,000 a year in revenue share three years from now with 27 agents personally enrolled and 500 total. Do you follow that? Okay. So that was my whole deal. Right? And so um, one of the things that we teach is the basic thing when I talk with people is 10 who get 10. That's our mantra. 10 who get 10. Right? Because that's very doable. And I say don't try to do that. I mean some agents want to do this in six weeks, six months, a year. Well, I tell people, what if it, when I talk to people, what if it takes you five years to enroll 10? Right? And, and I said that would be two agents a year, which would not qualify you as the title recruiter. You suck at recruiting. I mean, just so you know, if you only get two a year. So we don't, when you say, yes, I'm a sucky recruiter. I mean, no, we don't have that. It's just you referred two people, right? And if you do that for five years, you've got ten. That is not stressful. Do you understand that, right? That doesn't take a lot of time and effort. Now, if those agents all do the same thing, they suck just as bad as you. You now have ten who have gotten ten, and you've got a hundred agents. And if they all close... Two, I mean, $1 million a year in real estate, you're making $100,000 a year, right? You follow that? But if they're, if they're closing two and a half to three million or more, you're making those big numbers, which would be 348,000, because that's the max you make on the first and second level, right? 348, so you'll make somewhere between, we can guesstimate, no guarantees, based on the productivity, right, of the agents that you're bringing aboard, of between 100 and 300,000 dollars a year with 100 agents. Does that make sense? And that's residual, over and above. And how many agents do you know that that would be a help to them? Besides yourself, I mean, you know. <laughs> right? Okay? And so that's very, very doable. So that's what we teach. Now, here's the first thing that you want to do when you start thinking about this, okay? First things first. You want to make a list of everybody that you know. Everybody that you know. I mean, agent-wise. Agents. All the agents you've ever done business with. All the agents you've run into. Anyone you've attended classes with. The agents that are in your office, the agents that are in the other office, excellent agents, whoever, right? Now, the other thing I said is affiliates, right? You want to talk to affiliates. Why? Affiliates, mortgage people, title people, escrow, they are the mother and father confessors of agents. They know everything the agents are telling them because they talk to them and tell them all the time. They know when agents are thinking about making a move. So this is one of my secrets. 30% of all the agents I've ever brought 
to either uh, Keller when they built that company to EXP is building this one now. To this day, 30 to 40 percent of every agent I have comes from and because of affiliate referrals. And so I want to make sure that every affiliate I ever know comes to a Lunch and Learn or sees a webinar. Lunch and Learns are better. I want them to have more fun, social, get to know some of the people. And when they see this, almost every time, I can't guarantee it, but almost every time they think of three or four agents right now that need to see this. They always say, well, I got three or four people that need to see this right away. And that, that's a really big deal. Do you understand that, right? So that's, a, that's the thing you want to get. And you want to learn to invite, not present. I don't want you talking about how this works. That's why I say you're just familiar, okay? Most agents are terrible at recruiting. Most people are terrible at recruiting, okay? And so, but we want you to learn how to invite people to come take a look, which is why we do Lunch and Learns, because agents will do anything for food. We know this, <laughs> right? We used to do booze, but then they forget why they came, so we can't do that. <laughs> So we, we did everything wrong in the beginning, right? So we stopped the booze, we just did the lunch, and that seems to work out really well. So we do the lunch and learns, right? And you just need to learn to invite them. And I'm going to teach you several invitations and things to be able to say, uh, to be able to get people. All you want to do is create interest and curiosity. You're not, you're not there to tell them. And as soon as you tell them too much, then they'll look for a way to say no. People are always looking for a way to say no, I'm busy, I can't come, not happen, that's not for me. No, I don't like that, I've you know, heard of that, nope, not, you know, you hear, if you hear anything like that, it's because you're saying too much. If you say anything, you've said too much, <laughs> okay? I don't say anything when I talk to these people from around, I will tell you that, I will show you that. The, and this absolutely less is more. We will have somebody super like Brent or one of, his, one of his up and coming superstars that will do the presentation. All you have to do is get them there to sit in it and it's easy. Like I said a lot of times, I'll say at the Lunch and Learn, so how hard is the person right now working that invited you here? <laughs> right? The reason we want them is to see something that's duplicatable. Because what you do is so powerful, what you, they, what you do speaks so loudly they don't hear anything that you say. So if you invite them to a lunch and learn, they'll think that's what they need to do and they will do that and you will get duplication. Your people will invite people to the lunch. Do you understand that? If you get together with them and talk to them for five hours trying to break their arm into joining, they'll think that's what they need to do and they go, I don't have time for that. And they don't. And you shouldn't be doing that. All you need to do is invite them to a lunch and learn, right, or to a webinar. And what I found is the webinars you want to attend at least one a week. You want to see one webinar a week, right? Less than that, you're not doing anything, so you want to do at least one a week, right? And the weekly lunch and learns, you want to make it a habit. So the only thing I say to people is you should make an appointment whenever, whenever they do the local lunch and learns here, right? We have some places that do wealth, they call them Wealth Building Wednesdays, which is cool, you know? Um, there's all kinds of different names for them, but you want to create a habit because this is a multi, it's the same thing as having a million dollar listing or a multi-million dollar listing. Why do I say that? Because if you enroll an agent and you go and they go and they decide to join and they're a capper, you're going to make $2,800 every year they do that. And most agents tend to stay about 10 years with a company. 10 times 28 is $28,000 that you earn because of that one lunch over time, 28000 That's a million dollar listing. You follow that, right? Okay. Now, that's if they don't refer anybody else. If those agents decide to refer other people, it becomes a multi-million dollar listing. You follow that? And the lunches should only be about an hour to an hour and a half total. So that takes you an hour and a half a week, and you're going to eat lunch anyway. Yes? Some of you should eat not as many lunches. <laughs> Just saying, that's me. There's a trainer in here. Where is he? Right there. Okay, raise your hand. He's a guy you want to talk to if you got that kind of a situation, which is me, right? It's really good. So anyway, you want to go to a lunch and learn every week. Why? You're creating a habit, okay? Because... And if somebody wants to do it, this is my opinion, all right? And, I, and, I'm, and, and from this, in a year and a half, my residual from revenue share for EXP is in excess of a million a year, okay? Over a million a year. And we figured it out this morning that the next 12 months, it looks like my residual is gonna be somewhere around 1.8 million. If nobody else joins, the problem is they're joining at almost 300 agents a month, so it's gonna be a whole lot bigger. You follow that? And, that? and that's a lot more than most people make selling real estate, and that's all residual. And I'm telling you, if you take more than five hours a week doing this, you're doing it wrong, my opinion, okay? So you wanna take, get a habit, the lunch, you period. You put it in your phone as a reoccurring event forever until you've achieved your, your goals, whatever you wanna do, whatever that is for you, okay? 
And so, if you have somebody, and this, again, my opinion, that wants to do a listing, and you have a lunch and learn, it starts from 12 to 1.30, you can say, you know what, I'd love to meet you at 12 o'clock, but I have an appointment, I can be there at 2. Because your team will do what you do. If you don't think the lunch and learn is that important, then they won't either, and they'll let something even less important than that take them away. You understand why some people are growing and some people aren't? Because I teach, if you want to do this, this is, an, this is an appointment that you do forever. And I want you, and because then you get the new information and you understand why you're part of this. What you're looking for. You get re-energized, re-enrolled, if you will. And if you do a webinar, eventually you're going to have somebody say, you know, I listen to a, a, one, a, a webinar every, month, every week for information. You should. In fact, I've just heard an incredible webinar that I'd love to have you listen to. And I want to get your feedback on it. Would you do me a favor? Watch a short webinar and give me your feedback on it. Most people say, yeah. I'd say, great, this one's so good, I listen to it once a week. Really? Yeah, I'd listen to it. Boom, now you have somebody watch it the whole time. Do you understand that? Are you with me? And what did I say to them? I didn't say, this is a real estate company, and you're going to want to change, and it's going to be the best thing that you ever did, and we're going to make tons of money, and you're going to have to leave the company that you've been with for 15 years. I didn't, did I say any of that? No. I said, wow, I've, I've seen a webinar that's so incredible, I watch it every week. I'd love to get your feedback on it, what you feel. It, Right? Does that make sense? Same thing. Same thing at lunch. I eat lunches on Thursday. Do you? <laughs> what do you got going for today for lunch? Well, nothing. Great. I'll pick you up. I'm going to stop in and listen to some guys that have got it really going on. Lunch is on me. It's free anyway, so. <laughs> right? Do you follow that? What have I said when I'm inviting these people? What have I told them? Nothing. Okay? Because you're providing lunch, you own them for an hour. You follow that? You own them for an hour. All right? That's how I feel anyway. So, so webinars attend one a week. Lunch and learns attend once a week. The people on my team that are growing consistently every month, their team's getting bigger and bigger, and their, and their residuals from um, RevShare are getting bigger, are attending lunch and learns every single week, no matter what. And they listen to at least one webinar a week. Right? So now you're at two and a half hours. Two, total two and a half hours. Plus you've got fed during one of those, right? So the only thing that you need to do is for another hour and a half, two and a half hours, you're inviting people, half hour a day, inviting people to either the lunch and learn or to watch a webinar. And we're gonna learn how to be very efficient in time blocking, you can get a lot done in a half an hour if you really walk on it. And when, when it starts being part of your DNA, if you will, so that you're always thinking about buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers, and your radar goes up, I'm thinking about moving, really, over here in the shopping center amongst the guavas, right? You go, what? <laughs> and hi, I'm a real, you know, you do that, right? You should. Anyway, I have that radar up all the time when I'm talking to agents. When I hear someone's an agent or in real estate or whatever, I can't help myself, but I'll go in and I'll say, hi, are you, are you a guy over here or that you're a real estate agent? They go, yeah. I said, well, how long have you been doing that? I hear that's an incredible thing to be able to do. And I hear, wait till they hear what they say. And they go, well, yeah, some days. And I say, well, who are you with now? Some and such. Is that a good reason? I mean, a good company? They go, oh, yeah. And I say, well, who are you with before you were with that one? And they'll tell me. And I say, did you leave because you didn't like something or because you liked something more at the other place? What made you move? Do you understand? I'm just getting them ready to get ready. I want to see what their energy is. I want to see if they're, talk, if they're talking, if they're engaging. I want to see if they are happy and open. Do you understand that? Because if they say, why? Why do you want to know? I go, Ooh, I don't want to know. Bye. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> drama in the making. I don't want drama. You, you follow that frame? Okay. All right. So then this wealth chart. I'm going to show you a wealth chart that is going to give you Literally, I want you to take a screenshot, I want you to build your, draw your wealth chart, and then once you've drawn that wealth chart, I want you to text me your wealth chart. I don't consult or work with anybody that doesn't have their wealth chart up to date, because that tells me everything that's going on in their business. Okay, I designed this for some people because they said we don't really understand how this works real completely and we want to track everything, and I said this will track everything, it'll, 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 uh, give you feedback on your growth, it'll teach you follow-ups, who to follow up with, how often, and I'll teach you all of that from this wealth chart. So I want you to take the wealth chart, build it, send me a screenshot of it, and every single month you take a screenshot in your phone of your wealth chart, okay? Because it's going to teach you your goal, because someday, some of you in here will be making six figures, some of you may even make seven figures. And when you have that happen, even if you're making twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars a month in residual, I mean, if that's all you're making, right? Well, if that's the case, then they're going to want to know how'd you do that. And you're going to have a history of exactly what you did. 
because it's hard for you to, to uh, relate to me to say, I've been in a year and a half and I got over 2,000 agents. I mean, that sounds like impossible to do. It's so huge. And I said, well, let me show you how it happened. It was really pretty simple. And it just sort of happened organically. And you go, wow, I, that, that's very doable. I understand that. Okay, that makes sense. Because I don't want a thing to you know, be that doesn't seem to make sense. Follow-ups. I want, there's weekly and monthly follow-ups. Setting goals, weekly, monthly, and yearly goals, no question. Understand, this takes effort. You're building a real estate company. You are building, in my opinion, what is going to be the largest, most successful real estate company on the planet eventually. Certainly in this company, uh, country, without question, in my mind. Right? And it's going to take some time. And it's going to be consistent. And if you're just consistent with it, you will win. If you take a little tiny thing and you consistently hack at a tree with a little pen knife, eventually that tree will go down. You may have died to be your grandkids doing it, but eventually it's going to go down. Do you understand that? If you're just consistent. It's how the Grand Canyon showed up. Right? It wasn't just because someone spilled some coffee. It happened a long time. <laughs> right? Okay? So this is what the wealth chart looks like. Now, to understand what this means is, and I want you to draw it exactly like that. This is the beginning of the test of your duplication, okay? Because duplication is really important. Have any of you ever played that game where you whisper to somebody something in their ear and say, repeat this phrase, and it goes around the room, and at the end it's like absolutely nothing to do, right? You say, I have a, I have a rabbit, it's green, and it hops from time to time, and it likes lettuce. Boom, they say it, they say it. At the very end it's, I have a, I have a killer armadillo, <laughs> and leopards are afraid of it. And by the end, they go, how did they become that? Because people change just one little thing. I was a pilot, right? And when we, when we would go in a direction, we had to constantly be correcting and being right on. Because if we were one degree off, and we were trying to get home, and we had any distance, the distance, I could be in Seattle or I could be in New York with one degree if I was far enough away. you got to constantly get it right. You cannot do something different because if you want to duplicate in a very big organization, a big team, everyone needs to do basically the same thing. That's duplicatable. So if people in North Carolina see it, they see the same thing that they saw here in Sacramento. The same thing they hear in LA, same thing they hear in Michigan, New York, Seattle, Dallas, it doesn't matter. Yep, and they're not confused. Why? Because a confused mind does nothing. A confused mind will go, what, what, this is different, I don't understand. I thought it's this is the same thing? You understand that? And that's important to, to know and to do that. So, here's what it is. The, the circles, the red, the red circles, remember, you're going to draw this exactly like this. Nothing different. That's the first test. Very, I get a room full of this and two people will have it the same. I kid you not. Many will be close, but they'll do something a little different because I do it this way. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? All right, so the red circles are people that you personally enroll. And when you enroll somebody, you write their name in the circle. And you put it in pen. Okay? Now, how many circles are there on each row? Five. How many rows are there? Five. How many rows? Joni's helping that. Five rows, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five times five is? 25. How many people get you paid through the first six levels? 25. So your job is to fill those circles with names of people that you personally enroll. That is your first level. I just didn't have a thing long enough that it would be all the circles straight in a line. But that's your first level, first generation. You follow that? Say yes. yes. Okay, now. So your job is to fill those names. Now, the reason I have the two there, three, four, five, six, is because when you have the names and those that top chart, those five, you are now going to get paid through the second level. Then when you fill the names on the second, on the, the next five, one, two, three, five, be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you get paid in the third level. You follow that? And each time you fill a level, a row, you qualify to get paid on another level. All right? And we have through two, six. Now, what I want you to do, then you put a square box under the middle circle. Middle circle. <laughs> Half of you will put it under the left or the right, I'm telling you, right? Put it under the middle circle, and you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And, the, and, and those squares are empty, but each month, at the end of the month, you are going to write the number of agents that are on each of your different levels. You follow that? Yes. Okay, and that's going to be in pencil, because you're going to erase it and change it every month. Are you with me there? Say yes. Okay, good. So now, you see here where it says the numbers? 
3,200, 2,000, 1,200, 800, 2,004. That's how much you make maximum as a result of each agent if they do two and a half to three million or more on each of the levels in revenue share. You follow that? So this was my June 1st, this was my actual uh, wealth chart as of June 1st of 2016, right? How many people had I personally enrolled? 12 people personally enrolled, right? Okay, those 12 people had enrolled 22. There's a number 22 in there. Okay, those 22 had enrolled 27, had enrolled 23, had enrolled 19, 16, and 12. Okay, so if, and I have how many people personally enrolled? So what level does that qualify me to get paid through? Three. So I'm only getting paid on these, all those I'm not. You understand the full top amount? Now the way EXP works truly is you actually do get a small amount on every single level no matter what. Okay? But not the maximum. It's, it's highly reduced by like a factor of 10 or more. Right? But it's a small amount. But to get the maximum amount you need to have those personally enrolled that way. You follow that? Okay. So now the goal this is my three-year goal. We want you to do this in three years if you want, right? Three years, the goal is 500 agents that are in the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth levels, 500 total, with all those circles with people that are selling houses. How much money will that make you in revenue share? No, you should know. You, should, you could tell almost exactly. You should make $500,000. If you average $1,000 per agent, which you may or may not, depending on their productivity, but the average over the last seven, eight years pretty much holds this out. If you've got 500 agents in these levels with those filled, you're paying paid through the six, 500 means you're going to make 500,000 plus or minus to as much as maybe a million if you've got lots of good producers. But 500,000 anyway. Now that's not cast in stone, it's not guaranteed. It's based on the productivity of the people that you bring aboard. The circles qualify you to get paid on more people. The numbers of people are how much you get paid. This is the amount of money you can make maximum for each one. So I look at this and I'm only getting paid through the first three levels. So on my fourth level I could get 1,200 an agent and I got 23 agents. So that's close to what, $25,000? I'm, I'm losing, right? I got 19 here at 800, so that's about 17,000 I'm losing. 16 at 2, that's 32,000 I'm losing, potentially. 12 at 4,000, that's almost 48,000. That motivates me to fill them circles. You understand that? Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, so now, and I want this 500. Now, do you see where this thing is? 2 through 6? Some of you will make this go down to 7. Don't do that, because you don't qualify to get paid on the 7th yet. Are you with me? Just through the sixth. Okay? Now, you talk about the little pieces of paper. The little pieces of paper are people that I have shown this, that have seen the presentation. Start to finish. Not that I've invited. Now, there's no difference in color. I just had different color pads. <laughs> okay? No difference in color. Everyone goes, what's the difference in the purple? No, there's no difference. Okay? Now, the ones that are on this chart over here on the circles, those are people that told me they like it. They probably want to join. They just can't do it right the second because I've got some closings. I have a baby I'm giving birth to. I have an aunt that's dying. I have something. Whatever. I have life in the way and I can't join today, but it's going to be soon. You follow that? So they go on there. So if all the people that told me I'm going to join joined, I'd have two, four, six, seven more. Right? I'd be paid through the, almost the fifth. Now those people I follow up with every week. They're weekly follow-ups. The only way I follow up with them is by text message because I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to take up time. I don't want to take my time. I want to send them a text message so it's instantly they got it. I'm flashed in their head and it's gone. Right? Didn't take up their time but now they're thinking about me again. And normally I try and tell them something personal that has happened within the team. I had 12 more agents come aboard. I'm excited. Rev share is increasing. And I send it to them. That's it. That's done. Real quick. And I send that to every single one. Or I'll say, man, did you catch that? The stock went up 50 cents today. How much stock you got? Boom. Send it off. You follow? Just real itty. And then, because there's the lunch and learn, I will say, by the way, I know you said that you wanted to, you know, you had a real interest. We're doing a lunch and learn at such and such a place and time. And I send that too with this little space, but one text, not two, one. Right? You follow that? So I'm inviting them. I invite them. Uh, and give them a little personal update. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. And it's quick, and I do it every week. Now, the people over here are people that I have had see it completely start to finish. Not people I plan on showing. Not people I want to show. These are people that have seen it start to finish somehow. But they haven't said I'm joining. But they haven't told me to piss off. <laughs> right? Might have to edit that out. I don't know. <laughs> Texas, you know. Anyway, so um, you follow that. So in other words, and I only send them once a month. These are once a, once a monthers. Okay, because otherwise too, it's too much for them. They get irritated. You send something every week. So I only send them once a month. No phone calls, no mass social media, none of that stuff. I just send them a text once a month and I say, wow, we're up to 4,400 Asians. Stock's moving good. Really excited about what's happening. We're changing lives. And I send that off to them. Positive little pots about the company nationwide. Not me, the company. Does that make sense? Say yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So now, and my goal is to fill that all up. Okay? And so that was June 1st of 2016. That's my actual uh, wealth chart. So you got your assignment. You know what you're supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, do you need my number? Yes. Yeah. We'll give it to you when the cameras are not rolling. How about that? <laughs> okay? All right. Now, well, the idea is to create interest and curiosity. I don't want you throwing up on people, fire hosing people. How great this is. Oh my God, we only do this. We get this. We have that. We get, well, I have people that do. I, you can't believe the guy that I met. What's that? You don't do any of that stuff. Your only job is to create interest and curiosity. That car creates interest and curiosity for a lady in Wichita, Kansas, who gets written up every month in her local newspaper because of this car. The city seems to think there's like 30 of them. And she once said, you know what, I should put little numbers on the back, 17, 27, 83, and just change the magnetic letters, Let it, we'll mess with them a little bit, right? Oh my God, there's number 83. Anyway, she has people call her, she gets listings, agents are interested, she just decided to wrap her, her vet, made it look like a race car, kind of fun. But the idea is that you just want to create interest and curiosity so they're willing to come listen. Okay, start to finish. And you want them to come with an open mind. Now, here's kind of do's and don'ts. Do not send mass emails. It irritates people. If you don't have a relationship with them, they'll just be mad at you. It's called spamming. We don't want to do that. You don't want to mass invite through social media. Some people do that. We don't want to do that. You don't want to be the crazy stalker. Okay, the stalker, oh my God, this person's on me, following me every time. I don't want that. Don't mass cold call people. You want to develop a relationship some way, shape, or form. Some of you need to learn how to create relationship in about a minute or two or three. I'm going to teach you some couple of just conversations that I do when I ask people. And I talk to them. It works all the time. I've been using them for several decades, right? Don't post income claims about what other people are making. You can't, because you don't have the documentation to prove it. You understand that? So you don't want to document or tell what other people are making. Don't, they certainly don't want to post it anywhere. Does that make sense? Like you can't tell them why, you know, this guy Rob makes whatever he makes, because you don't know. You think, you hope, right? But you've got to have that documentation. Does that make sense? Okay, we want to keep it from getting in trouble. Now, do personally invite agents that you know, as many as you can. You're going to write down everybody you know. Every time you run across an agent, you write them down. Because you might find a reason to talk to them or meet them or see them. Okay? You want to sell more houses. Why? Because every time you do a house deal, you meet more agents and you get to see the energy. And I'm constantly looking for energy in the agents. Okay? Do make referring agents part of your business plan. In other words, I'm going to have X amount of new listings a month. I'm going to have X amount of buyer interviews a month. And I'm going to have three agents a week see the presentation. My business plan, right? Now, I may not get three a week see it, but at least I have it on my business plan. So I know that I'm going to time block a little bit each day, maybe a half an hour to invite people and practice. And I always say practice on the people you don't care about. Because <laughs> if you screw it up, so what? <laughs> right? I mean, you're like, listen, you're a no anyway, so shut up and shut down and watch this. <laughs> I know you're going to say no. Yeah, I don't care. S just sit down. And then, and you're a no. Just make sure you say no, because you may like this, and I don't want you to like it. You're a no, so just say no. Right? I used to do that. I, I would practice. I'd say, you know what? You're a person I really don't care if you join or not. And, and so I need you to check something to get my opinion on it. Be really brutal, because I know you will anyway. Right? And I would, but I would have fun with it. I would say it with a smile, so they didn't know if I was really... 
meaning it or not. But oh, I meant it. But they didn't know that. All right. Uh, do find buyers and sellers and quality agents. That's what you're looking for all the time. Buyers and sellers make you have your antenna up, right? Okay. So now. This is just one of the scripts, okay? This is an easy script. I love this, and I'll, I have lots of variations on it. And what I said is, uh, I learned to say as little as possible without question when I'm talking to people. My goal is to get them to watch the webinar or come to one of the Lunch and Learns. That's my only goal. My only goal is not to get them excitement, not to like me, love me, nothing. My goal is to get to create enough connection that they will come to a Lunch and Learn or that they will watch a webinar. And so my favorite thing is to say, hey, I just ran across a new, real, uh, new platform in real estate that's driven by technology that's revolutionizing the real estate industry dramatically, especially the way agents are compensated. And I'd like to get your feedback on it. I'd like you to see what's coming. It's the future of what's happening in real estate. You may, you may be attracted to it. You may not. But you need to know what's coming. Does that make sense? You get it? So it just falls off your tongue. And I say it over and over and over again. Hey, I just run across a new platform in real estate that's driven by technology that's, that's dramatically changing the real estate industry nationwide. I mean, it's, it's, it's massive, especially the way agents are compensated. And as agents, we really like that. I'd love to invite you to a... Um, uh, we, have a, we have a luncheon that is an informational dissemination lunch so that you can be able to see some of the new stuff that's becoming available to agents. And lunch is on me if you want to come. Are you available? I can only take two. And I, here's what I do. I, can, I tell them this. I can only take two people, so I need to know yes or no. Because space is limited. Take away. Do you understand that? Space, like I said, oh my God, you've got to come to lunch, please. I've been trying. I can't get anybody to come. No one's ever come. <laughs> they won't come if you do that. <laughs> it's like, please come to lunch with me. I'll comb my hair just for you. I mean, I, I kid you not, you wouldn't believe what I hear some agents say. I go, dude, tell them. Listen, I got space for two. You in or not? The lunch sucks. The information's awesome. <laughs> right? Do you need directions or can I pick you up? You know, that kind of a thing. And uh, when you, you got to have that attitude. You got to know that you have the best thing going. 99% of it's right here. If you know that you know that we got the best platform going in real estate, that agents are blessed by being part of this in a very big way. If they take this and learn and they really use all the different aspects, not just RevShare, but all the different aspects of what EXP has to offer, their real estate world and their life will be blessed in a very big way, like never before. And they'll be part of the new generation of what's happening in the real estate world. And their family will be blessed literally for generations. We can create generational wealth now. We have the opportunity. We have the technology. We have the program. We have the plan for it. It's a powerful deal. And if they say, and then so what, they, what they say is, well, what if they push back? They want more information. Well, you've got to tell me a little bit more. I'm not coming. Right? And then I would say to them, well, the information is about 98% visual. So you have to see it or you won't really understand it. And I just mess it up for you. You know, I wish I could give you a haircut over the phone, but I can't. <laughs> I was going to say something, but nah, it's not. Anyway, uh, and they go, but, and then normally they say, oh, okay, and they'll come, right? It's 98% visual. I mean, you've got to see it. I, I can't even try to explain it. I'd mess it up. I hardly even understand myself. That's why I'm asking you, because I want to get your feedback on it. Help me make a decision. You understand that? I want your feedback, okay? People love to give their feedback. Okay? And if they still push back, then I say, well, it was started and developed by a tech genius that worked for Keller Williams. And, the number, and I wanna, I'm going to change this from the number one real estate recruiter to the number one real estate business builder, coach, trainer in the world is going to be doing the webinar or is going to be wherever. That's what I would say for me, right? And I never told him it was me. I just said the number one guy is going to be there. The guy's incredible. I've heard him a lot. Oh, my God, he's so good. I'm willing to go every week because the guy is the bomb. <laughs> He is like, bring paper, take notes. He's amazing. And then that'd show up and it'd be me. Hey. <laughs> and they start cracking up. And I said, yeah, I had to tell you something. Anyway, so off we went, right? We just have fun with it. If they keep pushing, and after that, I say, you know what? Sounds like timing's not really right for you. Why don't I call you back in a couple of months? Don't worry about it. Goodbye. Done. And they're going to go, did they just hang up on me? <laughs> I thought they need. They don't need me. Oh my God! If they don't need me, I think I want them. But if they need me, I don't want them. But they may not need me. I think I may want them. And sometimes the phone will call. The phone will call back. Sometimes it'll phone the ring, and they'll call back. 
and I'll say, and they'll say, well, listen, I, what, what if, are you busy or not? Are you free or not? I like to clear the date. You know, are you free? What are you doing for lunch Thursday? And, and based on their answer, oh, okay, well, never mind. I'll try it again at a different time. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. What, what if I was free? Are you or not? Are you free for lunch Thursday or not? Yes or no? And, if, and they don't know if I'm inviting them to center court at the, at the, you know, I got tickets, center court. You know, I got a free ride in a Ferrari and we're going to go to the track. They have no idea what I'm going to talk to them about. Right? They don't, it's just interest and curiosity. Boom. He, he keeps inviting me to something. I, one of these times I'm going to say yes. Because what does he know? What does that person know? What does he or she know? Nothing. They just know I'm excited. Dude, I'm still excited. What are you doing Thursday? Are you eating lunch or not? Did you give up lunches? What's happening? Right? That's what I, I mean. I just easy going with them. That's exactly what I do all the time. I'm trying to do it with humor. I love humor. I don't take people seriously anymore because they're just a person. They're all the same. Ever since I came through that cancer deal, I realized there's nothing serious enough to like lose your stuff over. <laughs> right? Does that make sense? Okay. Now, when I go to places and I ask uh, people about themselves, one of the things that I always do is, and I would take this down. This is brilliant. Right? This is. <laughs> I'd say, so, what do you do for a living? This will make you really popular at parties, too. What do you do for a living? And you wait for them to say something. And they'll tell you. Oh, really? How long have you been doing that? And they'll tell you. And I said, no kidding. Where do you do that? And they tell me. I said, is, is it your own deal? You work for somebody else? Or whatever they, they tell you. I said, where were you at before that? Because I'm just practicing. Where were you at before that? And they tell me. And I said, are you still as excited about it today as when you first got started? I mean, do you still wake up in the morning and can't wait to go do blah, whatever it is? Just like you did in the beginning or, or now is it sort of like a, you know, a job? What do you think? And I listen to what they have to say. And based on their energy and their interest in being able to talk to me, I'm going to make a decision whether I'm going to talk to them or not. If they have really super great energy and they're not a real estate agent, I will ask them, wow, you know, you sound like you're pretty... So and I would say to this one, I always say this, I love doing this. Do you consider yourself con uh, as a successful so-and-so, whatever it is, because I want to see what their opinion is of themselves, right? Because I found the more successful a person is, the more successful the real estate agent is, they will refer to me. If I talk to homeless people, I get needy realtors, <laughs> right? Yeah, I can get you a cardboard box, but you might have to wait a month, you know? No! <laughs> I want to talk to people that are super successful, that are dealing with realtors that are top of the line. You understand that? So I say, wow, you sound like pretty successful. Love your energy, which says to me, they probably know agents that have a lot of good energy. Because someone with really good energy repels bad energy. They attract good energy to them. So if they have awesome, great energy, I will say to them, you know, I'm, I'm excited to have you meet you. Your energy is awesome. In fact, what I have found is I'm really looking for a, a real estate agent to be able to talk to about real estate. State, and I found that people with really good energy that are successful know really good successful uh, agents with great energy and that's what I'm looking for I really try to avoid drama and they'll say me too and I said great who can you can you think of someone you can refer me to because my wife and I really want to talk to some people you know about real estate and they will give us phenomenal referrals and generally I get no pushback when I talk to them because they're right they got great energy right and if I meet a realtor somewhere I go to events all the time I do not wear my name tag I do not hand out my cards I'm a secret agent <laughs> okay and all I'm doing is, is is making friends I'm looking for good energy when I go to an event okay because I after a while you run out of the agents you know but I'm always going I want to meet new fresh talent Right? And I'm looking for great energy. And I said, what do you do for, you know, your real estate? Yeah, which, where are you, how long have you been in the real estate business? And they'll tell me. And I said, who are you with right now? And they tell me. I said, that's a pretty good company I hear. I never cut them down. I always said, that's a really pretty good company, isn't it? And they'll tell me if it is or not. <laughs> well, I'm looking for a need, want, or desire. Write that down. Need, want, or desire. I want something that I can call them and say, you know, were you serious about what you just said then? Or were you just passing gas? <laughs> or wind, however you want to say it, right? Were you really serious about that? Because I think I may have someone you should meet that could take care of that for you, that might be able to address that. If you wouldn't be offended, I'll have them give you a call. I don't say ever, I'll have somebody give you a call, people go, no, 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 don't have any call me, I don't, no, I don't need to be called. And I learned to say, would it offend you if I had someone give you a call? I go, no, it wouldn't offend me. And now they let me call them. That's an incredible, worthwhile statement, would it offend you if? I use that a lot, right? And so then I find out, how long have you been in real estate, really? And, and I'm always looking for something. I say this kind of jokingly, but how long have you been in the business? They say 10, 15 years. I said, so how much longer do you think you want the pain? I mean, are you going to keep in real estate going? How many years are you going to keep doing that? And if they chuckle, they're a potential. If they don't laugh, I don't want to talk to them. 
They haven't felt the pain enough for me. You understand? I want them to have pain. I can stop your pain. I can, I can fix you. Right? Does that make sense? Okay? Or I know someone who can. I'm just, you know, that kind of way. And so how long have you been? You're excited about it, really? And how much longer are you going to be in real estate? Five or ten years? Most people tell me five or ten years. And if you really want to get close to them and you've had a drink or two, then you say, listen, tell me the truth. You know, on a scale of one to ten, if ten was like unbelievably good and one was like bad, what grade would you give your real estate career right now today? And most people will say six or seven. Almost everybody. Every so often someone will say nine. I'm a nine, baby. Doesn't happen very often. And every so often someone will say a two. Happens very rarely. Most people say six or seven. And I will say to them, no kidding, a six or seven. After 15 years, what would make it a 10 for you? What would make it a 10? And they got to sit there and almost every time they say, well, sell more houses. It's the number one answer. I'd like to sell more houses. And so I'll say to them, well, so you just want to work more then. Is that what you're saying? You're just not working enough? You just want to work more? <laughs> And they go, well, no, I, I want to make more money. Oh, I said, well, you need to say that then because you're not specific enough. It sounded like you just want to work more. I thought you were nuts. You know? And they say, oh, no, no, I want to make more money. Oh, so you just want to make more money. But you want to work more too? No, 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 I just want to make more money. And I said, okay. And I said, who's your mentor? That's a good one. Who's your mentor? Most people don't have one. And I said, I used to be like you. But my mentor has showed me another way, a new platform in real estate driven by technology that's changing the industry dramatically, especially the way agents are compensated. And I may not have to do that anymore. I'm so excited, you can't believe. I can actually see an end in sight. Can you see the light at the end of the tunnel or are you going to work into your die plan? <laughs> like so many of my friends were. Do you understand that? I'm just, I'm, there, I'm just shocking them. Do you understand that little pssst? Right? Because I just want... Oh, and then, and then and they've told me, you know, what they like or like. And I said, so who are you with now? Did you go there because you loved what you were going to or you disliked where you were leaving? Because I want to know. Are they, are they motivated by pain or pleasure? <laughs> okay? Because I want to know how to talk to them later. Are you a pleasure freak or a pain freak? I want to know, right? And so um, then they will, I know how to talk to them. You know, the other day you were talking about you left because of this. I said, I think I may have somebody that my mentor has told me about someone. You should meet my mentor. I love that. You should meet my mentor. Okay? In fact, if you want to, there's a luncheon going on this Thursday. You can meet him. He's, he's spectacular. And the stuff he's doing in real estate, you should really know about. And I think he could address that thing you were telling me that you really want to get rid of. And lunch is on me if you want. It's really cool. It's great. It's like an hour. And a lot of times they'll go, well, yeah, okay. I'm addressing their pain that they told me exactly what they want. My mentor, who's a big deal, we had good energy, because a lot of times I'll say, wow, you had really good energy. I like it. I love getting around with people with energy. Would you be offended if we got together again and talk more about real estate more in depth? That's my biggest approach. You have great energy. I really like that. I like to draw big positive energy into my life. Would you be offended if we got together again and talked more about real estate more in depth together? And almost Every single time they said, I'd love that. That'd be really great. Because they felt the same way. If I felt the energy was right, generally they felt it was. You know if energy's right or not, don't you? Right? Not that I'm trying to date people, but you know in the first 10 minutes, energy's right on this one, babe, or no, it ain't going to work. <laughs> right? You know right away. It's some sort of personal radar we have. Yes or no? Yeah. Use it with real estate agents too. It's the same thing. You're looking for positive people who are looking for us. You're not looking to increase the drama in your life. Does that make sense? Very much so? Okay, cool. Is this good stuff or what? Yes. yes? All right, good. Now, here is my first year. I'm just showing you this, what this has, okay? And, and I, I started in January, January 1st. My wife and I started January 1st of 2016, okay? And I made 10 phone calls that month, and I enrolled four agents, three in Arizona, one in San Antonio, Texas, and I was living in Dallas. I made phone calls, and the stress of that was so overwhelming that my wife and I had to go to Fiji for a month to get over it. <laughs> so we went to Fiji for the rest of January after that, and we relaxed and felt good in February and March. It didn't really do much, and Gene Frederick convinced me to go to the uh, shareholders conference 
in uh, April. We have a national share. We're a publicly traded company. We have a shareholders, stockholders meeting every April. I just highly suggest you go to that if at all possible. He had me go. I met the founder. I met the board. I met the top agents. I met the bankers. I met the accountants. I met the auditors. I met people. They told us what was going on with the company, the direction it was going, where it was headed, and it was like... Wow, this, they, they, I think they got their act together. This is going to be really great. And so I told my wife, I said, I think this is going to be really big. I think this may become the biggest real estate company. I think it's, it's better than what I saw with Keller. And up until that moment, I thought Keller was the best real estate company on the planet. And when I saw this and I saw it and I put it all together, I said, I think these guys are going to go beyond what Keller ever did. That's the first time I ever mentioned that. I told my wife, I said, I think we probably should put some effort into it when we get back. This could be big. And where timing is right because there's not very many right now. We're first to market again. Oh my gosh. That's awesome, right? And so uh, I went in April and I was very excited and when I came back I put in one more. Secret says five. <laughs> I really rocked it in there. And I, I put in one more agent personally. Right, I enrolled one. But what I found was we had this back office where it tell, you can look in there and now they have this thing that shows how much money you're making almost like on an hourly basis. It updates several times a day and it tells you how many agents are joining how many agents are leaving, how, many agent, how much money you're making, revenue share, actual to date, right then. Okay, month to date, pretty big, right? And, and so I found out that those four agents, while I was doing nothing, without my permission, didn't, at, didn't tell me what they were doing, those four enrolled 14 <laughs> without talking to me, right? <laughs> and those 14 had enrolled 14 more. And those 14 had enrolled 20. And those 20 had enrolled 14, enrolled 10, 9. I had 86 agents, and I only knew five of them. And I told my wife, this is going to be awesome. And so in May, I, I enrolled seven. I showed it to a bunch of people, and I enrolled seven. You see my number's 12? Right? So I put in seven more. I work with those people May and June, and I just did one on ones and two on ones. I call it one on ones and two on ones because that's all I knew. I got these agents. I said, Who do you know that we can talk to that's got good energy? Right? I said, Practice this thing, the things, some of the things I was telling you. Say these things to the agents, the new platform driven by technology, right? Which, and he would say that, and they would go, Yeah, I'd, I'd meet your friend. And we set them up, and I'd meet with them. And uh, those 12 turned into 131 at the end of June. 131 agents. Right? And then that was so stressful that we went on vacation for a month again to get over it. And in July, we went to South America for a month because it's tough dealing with real estate people. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? You know that, right? Sort of, anyway. So in August, I came back refreshed, ready to go, and I enrolled six more batches. Boom. I have a short sprints. Remember I said I'm ambitiously lazy. I'll work for short periods of time if they'll pay me a bunch. So I put a sprint in there, talked to a bunch of people, and six joined. So I have 18 now personally, which means now I'm getting paid through which level? 15, no, 5 is second, 10, 15, yeah, third level. You guys are quick, all right? Third level, right? And I have all these more. Now look what happens. Third level, right? I've only got 120, but I got 165 or more, or 140, something like that, that I'm not getting paid on. So I'm motivated. Do you understand that? I'm seeing it grow. There's money going out that's not there. So in September, I enrolled three more. Now I'm getting paid through another level. 20 gets me paid through the fourth. Right? And, or fifth, I'm not sure, I can't even remember. Um, so those 21, now we have 356. I did another one in October, 491. That was my three year goal. Remember that? Three year goal. I did it in a couple of months, a few months. Not me, the team did it, right? November uh, is when I met Brent. Brent saw this at the end of October. He joined the first part of November. Because he was in Sacramento, like you guys here, and I was in Dallas, I couldn't do one-on-ones or two-on-ones, so we developed webinars. When we develop webinars, things start taking off even faster, because we could do that now, anywhere, anytime, now, right? So that was a blessing that that came along. I thought, how am I going to do this? This is going to be a pain. It turned out to be the best thing that ever happened, right? And so November and December, I didn't enroll any more net. I actually enrolled three more. I had 25, but I lost three to attrition. So I had 22 net. These are all net numbers. And at the end of the year, I had 22 people personally and 700 personally and 700 on the team. So I could guesstimate what my revenue share is going to be for 2017 just here looking forward. 
If I get $1,000 per agent, that's 700,000. If I get 200, it's 1.4. So I could guess that my revenue share was going to be somewhere between 700,000 and 1.4 million. And my revenue share is skyrocketing now, right? I'm going big. Now, the reason that happened was because of these four people. Right? And others too, but these are the four that I tracked. Scott and Tracy, one of the first ones I enrolled in San Antonio, $15 million producers. They enrolled two agents a month, 24 in the year. That enrolled 39, 83, 82, down to 297. They created a multiple six-figure residual in 12 months, plus their closing houses at the rate of about 15 million a year. All right? Big deal. Wilco, opposite end of the spectrum, brand new agent, new licensee, never sold a house in his life. He said, why would agents want to talk to me? I said, they wouldn't want to talk to you. Who would want to talk to you <laughs> about real estate? Otherwise, he's a fun guy, right? He's a soccer coach, 15 years teaching little kids to play soccer. So he talks like a little kid because that's who he's been talking to for 20 years, right? And it's like, dude, act like an adult, you know, or really, truly, and, and he's an awesome guy. And so he said, but no one will want to talk to me. I said, you're right, but if you, if you say this, I've just run across a new platform driven by real estate, I mean driven by technology that's changing the real estate dramatically, and the guy who's bringing it across the country nationwide is here in town. I can get you to meet him. You really need to know what's coming because you're cutting edge. You need to come, and, come and, and meet him. I can set up a lunch with him, and they say, yeah, I'd like to meet him. And he said, it works. And so Wilco, who'd never done a house, in seven months enrolled 22 agents, three a month on average. By the end of the year, he had 119 agents. He had created a six-figure residual, and he sold two houses during that time, too, by the way. He's pumped about that. He wants to learn how to sell more now. <laughs> and he's making 100,000. He actually is making more now, because today he has over 300 agents on his team. He's got 25 or 27 personally enrolled, and now he's making something in the neighborhood of twenty to $30,000 a month in residuals. All right? And he's in his second year of real estate. How about that? Is that a new dynamic in real estate or what? Okay, that's huge. That's like, wow. That's unbelievable. Sheila, I met at a um, continuing education class. I was not attending the class, I was loitering in the hall. <laughs> right? They had a break, they came out. Now, I was around the, 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 the broker renewal courses. I was not around the new licensee courses because the failure rate of them is too high and they're too needy and too babysitting where they're like kittens. So I want to go over here and I want to talk to the people who've been around, the bulldogs, right, who made it through, the tough ones, the 20% of the 80 that started, right? And so I, and when they broke out, then what I did was I would be in the middle of them talking to them and, and just talking conversation. So how long have you been in real estate? Who are you with right now? Are you still, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm talking to them and, and I say, you know, I used to have that in the time, but what I learned a few years ago was how to, through real estate, was to develop a residual income driven lifestyle. And for the last 10, 15 years, I've been just traveling around the planet. But I used to have the ear pains. I remember that. But that's all I'd ever say. And eventually they would say, What do you do? And I'd say, Well, that'll cost you lunch. But the lunch is on me. And that's what I told her, uh, Sheila. And so Sheila went to the, uh, Sheila was doing about 17 million in sales. And she, um, was running seven different offices for the broker that she was working for. He was paying her $100,000 a year to run those seven offices, plus she was doing $17 million in sales. Pretty much the next, and she's a single mom, two teenage sons living at home. I mean, she was busy, right? And she said, I don't have a lot of time. But right away, she quit her job. She transferred over to us. She said, I just quit my $100,000 a year job. This better work. I'm a single mom. It was like, Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I said, if you just say this, you put these down and you say this to the agents, you memorize it, make it good, make it sound like it's you, they'll want to meet with me and we'll help you out. And so she did that and in four months she enrolled 13 agents. 13 agents, that's three a month. And they enrolled 39, 58, 31, blah, 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 to 156. In four months she replaced her $100,000 income with residual income from revenue share. Plus, she's selling, right? Today, that was in that 19, uh, 2016, right? Today, Sheila has over 600 agents on her team, over 600, and she's making hundreds of thousands in revenue share, and she's on track to doing $25 million in sales. She's an icon agent and already got all her cap back. She's, she, she, when we see each other from across the room, we both start crying because she says, you can't believe what you've done for my life. For my kids, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to quit. I didn't know what I'd be able to do. And this is the best thing ever. My kids see me now more. We have hope. We're going to take some incredible vacations. We haven't been able to do that for 10 years. 
and, and then we blubber for about 10 or 15 minutes and we say, okay, we'll see you in a month. <laughs> that was hard. Poof, and off we go. <laughs> You're starting to affect people's lives in a very, very big way. Now, one of the calls that Sheila made was to Brent. She did not know Brent. Brent tells the story. Sheila says, hey Brent, this is Sheila Fedrin. I met you at a Hobbs Herder event about a year ago. You were one of the speakers there. You were like incredible, the best one ever. I took more notes on you than any, all the rest combined. I'm still looking at the notes all the time. Oh, thanks, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, listen, I have a favor of you to ask. I'd I just saw a new platform driven by real estate. I mean, a, a new real estate platform driven by technology that's changing the industry dramatically and I'd like to get your opinion. Can you watch a short webinar and give me your feedback on it? And he said, sure, I'd be happy to. 20 minutes into it, he says, yep, this is it. I can't believe I'm thinking about leaving. I just, I had no idea, but I think I may want to do this. That was at the end of October. On November 1st, Brent joined EXP, right? And in two months, Brent enrolls 24 people, agents. In two months, three a week, mm -hmm. which is sort of sloughing because he gets like seven listings a week. Huh, Brent? <laughs> but compared to everyone else, it's like unbelievable, right? 24. And in two months, he creates a six-figure residual. I mean, he's a superstar, right? $100 million plus. Everybody loves him. He's been around for a long time, 20 years or so in real estate. He's only been with two different companies. He doesn't change. And when he changed, the world noticed. And you guys are here because of that change. That's what happened, right? And so that was the story of how that came about. Thank you, Brent. So here's my wealth chart, January 5th of 2017, after the year, okay? This is my wealth chart. And what it shows is how many people have I personally enrolled now? 24. 24. One short of 25. <laughs> how, many, how many people do I have on my sixth level? 2,000 max, 100 of them. I'm losing 200,000 a year potentially right there because I have 24, not 25. Does this motivate me or what? I'm going to find me an agent. Do you know an agent? Are you an agent? Hi, how are you? How long have you been in real estate? Shut up. Are you good? Yes, hi. I can get me one. <laughs> I'm going to find me one. Uh, I remember, I'm going to go kill me an agent. I don't, I'm going to go find something. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like, yeah. Okay, now. How many people had I showed that told me they were going to join? Look at that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen people told me they were going to join. And I only need one of them to get up off of it and get on with it. <laughs> one text a week. Every hour. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Right? Now, I had a whole bunch of people that didn't. But look at this. Look what happened. I've only enrolled 24. Okay? There's 100 here, 147, 158, 139, 105. In that group, that's 649 agents in the two through six, more than the 500 goal, right? Total of 718, actually right there, as of the fifth. I had 700 agents at the end of the month, and on the fifth of the month, I had 18 more that had already joined. It started happening quicker and faster. Things were going on. You understand that? That's why you take a picture every month. I would have, that's how I come I have those numbers. I can show you what happened every month because I have these and I just transfer these numbers to that chart. People will want to know when you're making the money. That's why I'm here. Because they can't relate to, I had 700 agents in a year. They go, that's amazing. So not really. It was a bunch of people that did a bunch. A few people did a lot. A couple people did a little. Most people did very little. But it happened, right? Now, this was my deal on the 26th of July, 2017. Those are my actual numbers of that day, which is what, three and a half weeks ago? Right, about now? I had 34 people personally enrolled. So I've enrolled 12 more, netted 12 more since the end of the year. They've enrolled 151, 272, 353, 358, blah, blah, blah. 1,600 agents as of July 26, 2017. Right? And because we have that thing in the back office that shows us how much money we're making from all the closings, it knows exactly how much you're making and it adds it to it and moves on. And as of that day, it was showing that I was making, producing in revenue share on top of everything else, three th over $3,000 a day in revenue share was showing up. <laughs> that's 90000 plus a month. That's over a million dollars a year. I got pretty motivated by that. I didn't know. I just knew it was a bunch. Now, 
Here's the thing I want to tell you what just happened recently on Friday because we have this deal. And so get out your calculator so you can figure this out. Some of you have heard this, some of you haven't. As of Friday, my little thing, which was the 18th of the month, as of Friday, it said that my revenue share was $87,000. As of the 18th. Divide 87,000 by 18. How much is that? 4,833. Okay, now take that and multiply that times 365. How much? 1,764,000 and change. That's what's being developed right now. That's unbelievable what's happening. I'm getting used to it. I'm, it's shocking me. But I'm adjusting. <laughs> I am. Now let me tell you this. Every single thing that I've had and done and developed, Brent is beating me in time in with the company. Every single step of the way, he's like a hurricane behind me. Do you understand that? I've only, because I was a little bit more time and effort, a little bit, but his time in grade, if you will, is even faster. And the people behind him are coming even faster as well. Because we have a system now. We're teaching people to be professional. How to do this the right way. We have a convention coming up in Fort Lauderdale. The 9th, 10th, and 11th of 2017. If you can get there at all, I'd recommend you go. You'll have unbelievable belief in the system. Huge belief in the system and the company and what it's about. It will build your belief. If you can go, I'd go. It's a great party. The day before that, on October 8th, our team, we're having a little team gathering. We've got a restaurant buyout okay, that we're putting on as a team to allow all our people. We're going to have recognition of stuff they've done and give out prizes and awards and stuff like that. Have a really super great time. If you're there the day before, if you can come the day before from 5.30 to 9 o'clock, it'll be an incredible awesome time. We're going to have champagne toasts and we're going to have you know, little goals for next year and just have fun. Because a year ago, Brent was there. We did this same sort of gathering before the convention and we all got together in Gene Frederick's room and there was like 45 of us or 50 and we were packed in there and every single person who had enrolled five people or more we invited to the who had enrolled five agents or more we invited them to Gene's suite and we were giving out t-shirts that said rock the comma because we wanted a thousand agents and we gave a t-shirts to everybody and we had a glass of champagne we had seven or eight bottles of champagne these little plastic stupid little you know breakable champagne thing. and we filled them and gave everybody and we says here's to an incredible year looking forward to next year let's do this again next year Right? And we all had a toast. It was incredible. So this time, we have an entire restaurant buyout. We're going to have between 150 and 200. We only have room. We've guaranteed 150. They'll hold up as many as 250 people in that event the night before. And we're going to fill it up. Right? We're going to, we're going to fill it up. It's going to be fun if you can do that. Now, we're having a leadership in January. Team leadership. We did this uh, last May. June, July, August. A little over three months ago, right? Three months? First week, I think it was in the first or second week in May. We had 80 agents come with us to Puerto Vallarta at this call, place called the Marival Residences. It's a four diamond resort. The suites are 1,400 square feet. It's super all inclusive. All your food, all your top shelf alcohol, all your activities, um, everything. All kinds of stuff. And we, we, we said, learn how to earn 100000 in annual re residual. Because we had people on the team already who were making money at the rate of $100,000 a year in residual. So we said, we're going to teach you how to make 100000 And we, had, we were there for five days. And we had great fun and parties and networking and getting to know each other. And we had two three-hour teaching sessions. <clears throat> but most of it was fun, networking by the pool, going to you know, awesome dinners and stuff like that. And... We went from bringing, as a team, about 110 agents a month to the company, good, solid, great agents coming to the month, to the next month we increased over 200, and then 250. And this month it looks like we're going to have 300 agents join the team. I mean, it's gathering momentum, right? Because of those 80 people that got it together and bonded, and now we're working together as a team, they know the stories of people all over the United States. We're doing this together and we're helping each other. And we exchange numbers and phone numbers and way to be able to have you and us help you talk to other agents in your stead. Working as a team. We all win better if we work as a team. And we always recommend that no matter what happens, when you have somebody see the presentation start to finish, you get them on the phone or talk to a third person. 
third person validation is incredible. And Brent Gove does one of the best third party validation talks I've ever heard. Way better than me. Very humbling. He's good. He's amazing. And I would burn his phone up and he's happy to do it. If you've got people who've already seen it, not just with questions. Questions is an avatar going into the cloud office to agent services. How does this work? And just like going into your office. Do you understand that? Real estate questions? You go into the, you go into the uh, office. And our office is in the cloud. It works really great, right? So this year we're doing it in January, the 6th through the 11th. And we have 240 or 250 people that are going. We have 80 suites. And, you know, some are one bedroom, some are two bedroom. Two to four people. In two, two people in the two bedroom, up to four people in the four bedroom. We can have 245 or 250 people coming. And we're going to train to teach people how to make 500000 Why? Because we have multiple people now that are making over $40,000 a month in residual in a year and a half. So we know we can teach you how to do it in three years. We've got a bunch of people who did it in a year and a half or less. It might happen for me in like five, six months. And so it's going to sell out, no question. And the, uh, the website, if you want to check it out, is called TeamNinjaTravel.com. It'll get you to the website, but now you need the password. And we're, we haven't, we, we're releasing it to the rest of the people. We only have 80 suites, right? We're releasing it to another 500 people tonight because Scott and Tracy are going to release it to most of their people tonight. And then on Wednesday, I'm releasing it to the entire team of over 2,000. And right now, more than half are sold out already. I don't know what it is, three-fourths of them or not, but a lot of them went today after we talked earlier. The password, if you want to get in there and check it out, is Ninjas Love Travel. Ninjas Love Travel. And if you want in there, if you like it, and you want to book it, I'd highly recommend it because the people came back from that totally charged and different. And Brett will tell you, it was absolutely spectacular, without question. We're not going to beg you. It's going to go. It's going to sell out. Don't be, don't be late. Here's my five-year goal. People ask me now why I'm staying and doing this. Why do I need to do it? I make more than a million a year residual, almost two million. I've got others coming in from other places. The Keller stuff bumps it over two million a year. I mean, that's, that's huge. And people ask me, why are you keeping doing this? Because I'm looking for more people to help set free. I'm looking for more people who want to be 12th degree black belts, 100 people personally enrolled. I'm looking for people to change lives with. I got free and I've lived a life of freedom for 15 years or more. You cannot believe what it's like to not have financial situations in your life, to know that money's coming in and you own your life. A lot of people make a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with making a lot of money, but they give up parts of their life, a lot of times a lot of their life. And we've, we, my wife and I are best friends. We travel together. We do stuff together. We spend a lot of time together. We have to be friends. We're 24-7. <laughs> okay? We're forced. Oh, my God. We better be friends. Yeah, okay. And to know how wonderful our life has been and to know other people don't have no clue how it is. But I'm going to tell you, it's fantastic. When you need to go to be at a parent's side or you need to you know, be at the kid's school or whatever it is, you never have to question why. Can I get time off? Can I go? Do I have the money? You never have to tell yourself no. It's just, do I want to do this? Do I need to do this? Does it fit into my life? That's the only question you have. And so I believe that a lot of people, I believe there will be many people that will do this. And I ask people all the time, is this possible? Do you think this is possible? We have 4,000 500 agents, give or take a few. And there's, I'm told there's some 2 million agents in the United States and Canada. 2 million. We, we, we're a tiny speck of what's happening so far. The potential is huge. Is it possible to enroll 25 agents in the next five years? Yes or no? Yes. No question, right? Do you think we can get those 25 to enroll just 10 yes. in five years? Two a, two a year. Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. Can we get those, those to enroll five? Is that possible? Is it doable? Right? So those 1250. Can we get those 1250 to each enroll four? Sure. If we talk to them about it and convince them and give them training on how to do it. Can those 5,000 enroll three? Each three? Yes. And can those 15,000 each enroll just one? Is that doable? Does it seem unreasonable? I mean, does it seem unreasonable? No. I think it's very, very doable. 
And that will drive, if you drive an average of $1,000 per agent, closing a million dollars a year or more in sales, and our goal is to get them way more than that with the lead generating tools, and the teaching and the training and the education, it could be significantly more than that, but just $1,000 average per agent would drive $100,000 a day in residual income. That is doable. And there are people in this country that make that kind of money. In fact, that's not a whole lot of money to some of the people in the country that make 10, 20 times that. It's possible, but that's how people develop wealth by getting part of a system that's duplicatable and they get paid over on the masses. In an industry that is one of the largest industries on the planet, that's been here for 100 plus years, that's going to be here for 100 plus years, you can build generational wealth with this thing, my, my opinion, no question about it. And you are at the right time and the right place to make this happen, without question. And I appreciate your time, I appreciate Brent, and uh, go forth and prosper. Yeah. <laughs>